My it's a bit children. of a it's a bit of a sicky situation, Abby. We just Abby. need to separate. It's, that's okay. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. It's a bit of, it's a bit of a sicky situation. Yeah. Yeah. You look a lovely yeah. person. I'm, I'm really sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Abby, may it's I respectfully request? Re relax. Maybe I just want, no, no, yeah. please don't tell me to relax. Yeah. Yeah. Well, may I respectfully request that you possibly exit the encampment? No, hold on. Okay. Okay. Firstly, if, she, if I made her feel bad, please, please I stop. Wanted. Please stop. They've asked you, that, or they've pretty much said that you're not welcome here. Okay, may I please ask you to leave the area? No, I'm not going. I'm not going to be intimidated by you, you, you. It's not a bad, don't start I'm turning so, this I'm, into I'm like sorry. you're getting intimidated I'm by anyone. Because I'm, I'm not going to be intimidated by you, Rebel News, or anybody else. I'm not, I'm not scared. Okay. The truth is, I wasn't even going to make this video today. I was going to ignore what happened because I don't think it's helpful to distract from the efforts of the vast majority of peaceful protesters who have headed to camera over the past few weeks. However, my loudest detractors have shared an edited version that their friends in the mainstream media then picked up and ran with, portraying me as being confronted and so-called kicked out for intimidating a woman while reporting at the convoy campsite in Canberra. Nice try. So I'm here to set the record straight. Please watch this video all the way through and then share what really happened. Got a bit of a problem, mate. Go on. You've got a bit of a problem. Right. Last night, the lady went up to the Winnebago. Yeah. And you knocked on her door. I knocked on her door. Yeah, she was, she was quite frightened last night about it all. I knocked on her door? Yeah. I never knocked on a door, mate. Well, I'll go, I'll go get her and we'll sort it. No, out. no worry, but I never knocked on a door. Like, you want to talk she must be kind, dude. Was, I never knocked on a door. Bro, I don't, on don't, door. don't look me in the eyes and tell me that a 70 year old lady has come and lied to me, bro. Uh, when did I talk to oh, a lady? I'll make a up on the Bro, I, I, I never knocked on a door. Well, that's a veiled threat, I guess. Old mate's going to make a goose of me because he says I'm lying about knocking on a caravan door the night earlier. I was clearly terrified of him and his made-up story off they went to fetch their alleged victim but before they can come back let's watch the entire unedited interaction they're threatening me over how are we doing am i allowed to, am I allowed to shine this light here are you not mainstream am i do i look like mainstream to you i'm way too pretty to be mainstream <laughs> here you got oh, oh no the light's bad well, ha, hold on. Let me hear. Let me ask you about what you're doing. You, you're gonna. You're, how long are you gonna stay here? We're staying now till Saturday. And what's your message? Um, yeah. What's your message to Australians around the country that are, uh, you know, nervous to come down here? Nothing to be nervous about. Everyone's like-minded, kind, caring, sharing, loving. It's just like we're just one big happy family in here. It's beautiful. And what do you think it's going to accomplish if, let's say, 100,000 people end up here within a week or two? Well, let's hope that somebody realises, you know, ScoMo, all of them, that they're losing this fight. They are losing. Cracks are appearing. Big cracks are appearing now. Well, they have stopped so many people from being able to even work and live. I guess if when people realise that they're camping here and they have a community that they can join, um, the government may have created something that they're not going to know how to deal with, are they? Well, I think it's turning out bigger than they thought it was going to be. I really do. All over the world, to be exact. Look what's happened in Canada. Look what's happened in so many other countries. The numbers are great. The numbers are huge. And, yeah, I think... They have to realise they're losing the battle. Let's hope they are. Let's hope they're losing the battle. Well, I predict. I, I, I'm predicting that this is going to, by the, you know, within the week, this is going to be massive. I was here. I was here this morning, and I, I, I literally saw maybe half or a third of the cars. And I think I, I'm predicting that by the weekend, this is going to be overflowing. Over and uh, Canberra's not going to know what's hit them. No, they don't know now what's hit them. I think they? now they're trying to ignore it. I think when you get to 100,000, there's no ignoring. Yeah. Yes, definitely. It's not a, we've not been received welcomely, have we? We've been received as, they don't want us here. I don't think they want us here. We don't feel welcome here, do we? Do you feel welcome? Really? I didn't know there were eggs thrown. Really? 
Yeah, no, I, th I think the end of the week will, I do hope we get to that many. Do you know how many are here now? No, but there's a couple, there's, between this site and there's the other camp, but yeah. there's, there's a good couple thousand already here. Yeah. I, I, I think it's going to get much bigger. All right, thank you for your time. You're welcome. I'm going to get bitten, and I probably got you hey, bitten a bit. To be fair, when those guys confronted me, I literally had no idea which interaction they were talking about because I spent hours until about midnight the night before interviewing the camping protesters. All I was 100% sure about was I only had good conversations and certainly didn't intentionally intimidate anyone or knock on anyone's door. Do you remember? Come in. No, I'm, I'm, were you sitting outside? I was sitting outside. Oh, okay, so right I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't. Right well, there. he's going up to these people, and look, he's, he's upset this lady for last night. Nine o'clock, he's going up to her. And then oh. another man. I, I, Another man was standing at the back door of the, our, camp, our camper. The people have already got mistrust. We don't want that people that doing here, Abby. I'm, you, okay. you shouldn't have done it. You should have done I, I, it. You intimidated me. You and frightened me. And you're walking around me. with the police too, Abby. I'm with the police. Yeah. No, you're, you're always walking around with them. You're right there. You're waiting for something to happen, okay? Let's just unpack this for a moment. This group of self-proclaimed organisers latched on to some woman who genuinely seemed shook up about something. Maybe it's the guy that she mentioned outside her caravan. I don't know. But they're encouraging her to confront me and going as far as reporting it to the police, asking them to remove me. Then maybe it's not. No, it's alright. We want you out. Yeah, they do. They do. The person yeah, doesn't look. That's fine. Here. I got no problem. I don't know what your name is. And you look, Harvey. You look kind. I'm, and you I'm, love I'm, 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 I'm very you sorry. Me. I'm very sorry. I, I, you scared me. And we I had a conversation. Did we have a conversation? You came at me with that, and he came at me with the light on. Yeah. And I had a witness. She was sitting right beside me. And we were talking. We had. Did we have a conversation? You recorded it again. I was never planning on releasing her interview, but now that her allegations have gone far and wide, I have no choice but to share this. And exactly as I suspected, it was a lovely conversation, which leads me to believe she wasn't the driving force here. Yeah, it's a bit of a sticky yeah, situation, yeah. Abby. You just need to separate. It's, that's okay. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. It's, a bit, it's a bit of a sticky situation. I'm a lovely person. I'm, I'm really gentlemen. sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, Abby, may it's I respectfully re request? Re relax. Maybe I just no, want, no, no, please don't tell me to relax. Yeah. Well, may I respectfully request that you possibly exit the encampment? No, hold on. I just, okay. Firstly, if, she, if I made her feel bad, please, please I stop. Wanna... Please stop. They've asked you, that, or they've pretty much said that you're not welcome here, okay? May I please ask you to leave the area? Yeah, no, 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 like, what are you, we need to, I, I, no, no, mate, I'm not, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be intimidated by you, you, you. Or me, don't start I'm, turning I'm, this I'm into sorry. like you're getting intimidated I'm by anyone, because I'm, I'm not going to be intimidated I'm, by you, Rebel News, or anybody else. I'm not, I'm not scared, okay? I'm not scared. We don't want you listen, going up to people. I'm sorry about oh, that. Oh, okay. Can you, can, do you want me to show you the footage? Okay, but can you just leave? This man, please at this point, at that chanting, Avi out, that's where my detractors in the mainstream media cut their feed that they shared so gleefully, you know. It looks like the crowd of the convoy protesters chasing me out of camp. And even Avi Yemeni from the far-right Rebel News, an outlet often praised as being on the side of the protesters, was getting an earful. Don't you intimidate by you, Rebel News, or anybody else? Okay, we don't want you going out to people. I'm sorry, personally, apologise. Not surprisingly, the mainstream media have not taken the convoy's concerns that seriously. But they didn't continue to roll the footage because what happened next just didn't suit their narrative. Now, not that it matters. I cover all events, all protests, welcome or not. But in this specific case, it was a tiny group of self-proclaimed leaders trying to do the thing that they were ironically accusing me of, intimidating someone there. But their silly little gang were drowned out within moments when I was surrounded by support. Suddenly, the bullies changed their tone, none of which 
you saw in the mainstream feed. But if, if, if she once told me she didn't want to talk, I would have walked away, I would have apologized. I'm there to give people a voice here. Yeah. And that's what happened. But, but, then, but then three of you staunching on me, your big boy going, I'm not, I'm not. No, 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 but you do that, right, in front of the lady to make it like I was doing something She came up to us asking for, asking for help. Yes, I'm sure that's all that happened. A poor innocent woman came to the fearless leaders of camp asking for help because this big scary dude she had a friendly conversation with the night before. Nothing to be nervous about. Look, out of the question, it definitely had nothing to do with personal disdain for me. Seems like you pop up only time there's drama. No, no, no. no, no. Every time there's drama or police, obviously there, man. The funniest thing about that comment is the only person who created dramatic national headlines embarrassing the 99% of decent, peaceful, unarmed protesters not 24 hours after this interaction was that bloke. The image of his arrest spread quickly across the country as he was dragged away from one of the other self-proclaimed leaders' trucks when police found a sawn shotgun in the vehicle as they were clearing the ground. Again, they are a tiny minority of the mainstream media love to focus on. The majority, the ones you've seen in all my reports, they're great, decent, free-loving, unarmed Aussies, peacefully protesting, and he certainly doesn't lead. I understand that there are certain people here that don't like me. I don't blame them. Hey, you don't like me either. That I wake up in the morning, I look in the mirror, sometimes I don't like me. That's fine. That's fine. But 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 to sit here and say that I went out of my way to intimidate a lot, I've I'm been walking around trying to give people Wait, here a that's voice. Rubbish. Okay. That's it. Okay, let, let's just, let me say this. Everything has been on the net, Arv, all right, has been interviews with people in here, yeah. and that's fine, okay, that's fine, you can do that. We love everyone putting everything out there, it's a and that's solidarity what, that's what they say I was doing Okay, today. but I'll tell you one thing I haven't seen. Yeah. There's one picture of anyone talking up on that stage, yeah, about what we're doing here. What we've seen so far, okay, is you interviewing people Because I'm here, here. To, I'm, here, I'm here to give no, the no, no. people a voice, right? Okay. And all those, all those speeches, all, the, all those speeches are yeah. being live streamed on a million yeah, platforms. Of course we are. I'm here to let each and every person, including that elderly woman that I, I didn't realise was intimidated when we were having a conversation. In summary, I don't attend these events to stroke people's egos. I go there to tell the other side of the story and give everyday Aussies a chance to be heard whether I agree with them or not and no one ever will stop me from doing that if you enjoyed this report make sure to like comment and most importantly share it far and wide for the simple reason if not anything else to embarrass the mainstream media liars once again and if you're willing you're able please head over to unmaskprguide.com and chip in what you can to help cover the legal fees of unmasking one of the biggest distributors of this fake news story, unmaskprguy.com. Let's hold Daniel Andrews' propaganda machine accountable for their lies. Oh, and before I forget to the you know journalists at The Guardian, next time you pick up fake news from PR Guy's Twitter feed and somehow twist it into a lame hit piece on our crowdfunding efforts, you may want to avoid including your own crowdfunding campaign at the bottom of the article. It makes you look slightly hypocritical. Anyway, that's just a friendly tip. Everyone else, help us out crowdfunding if you want at unmaskprguy.com.